We're the last generation. Or at the endlings, as the last of a species is called. That makes us special. I'm lucky to know that. Need to make my life count. It's all I can do. Really, it's all any of us can do. We're the endlings. Welcome to Knock Pro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to give our review and thoughts of episode two of The World Beyond. Yeah, the blaze of gory. The bog, ladies and gentlemen. Um, To be honest, <laughs> second episode was... Lackluster. Lackluster. Uh, I'll, I'll be completely honest. I you wasn't... Uh, it just didn't capture me that well. I mean, it had a lot of feeling type scenes story building character story building. building but a little too much yeah it um i mean the the big thing is is I, I think we mentioned it in our reaction i'm sure others have thought about it as well they were like why haven't these kids killed a walker yet well, i'm okay you, with that yeah you got to think about this guys these kids have not been outside the walls they've been trained by felix on how to and as you saw in the episode they were giving you were seeing flashbacks of that but as they're in there now doing it they're afraid they're hesitating. Anyone would be that way. Yeah. So these are kids. I mean, yes, they pushed one to the ground. They got, they're going to get away the best they can. If they don't kill them, fine for right now. But guys, as the season goes on, they are going to kill them. They're going to get the confidence and they're going to do it. Okay? Yeah. This is still early. You might even get one that likes killing them. <laughs> you might like it. Yeah. Um, you might wear the blood. I would but. say the, the, the best part of the episode for me was the the Felix scenes and and getting wow. his backstory. Um, it was very sad, very. It sad. was. It was hitting him hard, and we know that he was going down the street that he lived on. So those flashbacks were coming. Uh, I was just trying to correlate the flashbacks to what he was feeling going after the kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think it was mostly him thinking about CRM and how secretive they are and how he's questioning it. And then also now going back to the same street and house that he lived on and that he's getting closer to his parents' house, which he knows that they're dead and they're inside. And maybe he's been dealing with this for years. Like he wants to go kill them, but he still can't. Yeah. And he didn't do it that night, but it was very hard to hear. Um, I mean, I thought he did. He didn't do it. He said he told Huck he, he told went Huck to he, kill them. He he. he but he, but when we last saw him, he walked away. Yeah, but then they, they, they spoke about it briefly afterwards, and she said, "What did you do?" And he said, "I killed my parents." Well, the, well, he's yeah. She said, "What did you do last night?" And he said, "I went to kill my parents." Okay, but I don't think he did it, unless they just didn't show it on camera. Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing. I thought they yeah. would have shown that, right? Like yeah. either look, they did show the scene where he walked away. Well, yeah, he walked away. He didn't do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess I guess we got confirmation. I, there's not much more. Unless he did, we just did. I I'm assuming he didn't do it. Maybe mm -hmm. he just couldn't bear the thought of still have needing to do it. But um, it was very good. But I love the closeness between uh, him and Huck. I'm really liking Felix and Huck right now. Uh, really liking to know more on Huck. I think we'll get that. But I mean, with the kids, guys, you know, it's it's them coming together. They're learning more about each other. They're opening up. You know, I kind of thought the bowling thing in the treehouse was. Mm -hmm. A little bit too much, you know, a little bit too high schooly kitty CW type thing. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they had to, right? Like, I just, I, I wasn't a big favor of all the, all the conversations they were having, right? Like, yeah. it felt like the just... Monopoly was like a little too much. <laughs> and don't you think they could have done the bog a little bit better? Like, we, yeah. And now granted, we probably haven't gotten to that scene. Yeah. Well, it, we haven't gotten through the bog yet. It appears that that's coming up. Yeah. Um, but leading to it, yeah, I guess there was there were some suspenseful scenes of mm -hmm. them running through the yard, trying to get through it. Yeah. Yeah. I think they'll. I think next episode will be a lot more with the bog. I think that Felix and Huck are going to catch up to them, um, and they're going to help them out. So uh, I think they're going to maybe try to deter them to come back. But I think the kids are going to talk them into we're going, we're going to do this. But yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think that the you know the the scenes in the beginning part of the bog were kind of creepy. They're trying to, at times I was like they're they're walking really loud, 
Like they have yeah. things on their backpack, like the the steel cup for water, like it's clanking but, around, like you're making a, noise. But again, that goes back to them never being Learning. in this environment, yeah, right? Like they've learn. been outside, they've seen soldiers kill walkers. Mm -hmm. I think, matter of fact, probably one of the only time they've seen walkers being killed is when CRM shot down those those line of walkers. Probably. Yeah. When else would they have had the opportunity to do that? So, I Not mean, much. you're talking about very, very small exposure to this. So, mm -hmm. they're learning. Still learning. And and I think it's going to take some time. It's going to take time. So, guys, like, you know, if you're look, if you're hoping that this is like an all out, you know, they should be killing these walkers. You got to just think of who these kids are and where they've come from. They're, it's a learning curve. It's going to take time. Yeah, I mean, take a look at, uh, gosh, man, the names, guys, I, I'm going to butcher all the time. I'm I, always my, here to help you, man. My memory is terrible. <laughs> Who's the janitor kid? Silas. Silas, thank yeah, you. Yeah. So um, you, you saw Silas where he, he was like, you know, I'm sorry. He felt bad for not killing that walker. He almost did. like he knew he should have stepped up in that moment, but mm -hmm. didn't. Yeah. Um, that shows character. It does. And I like that hope kind of. Did take it upon herself, didn't kill it, but got it away. And she still didn't kill she it. She didn't kill it, yeah. even by dropping a bowling ball or something. <laughs> um, but even telling Silas, look, you know, I, it's not your fault. You know, it, I took care of it. We'll leave it as our little secret. But I love they're trying to get Silas to open up. And one of these big mysteries that I think we'll get to, I think probably later in the season, uh, with some of our synopsis that we've done, uh, later in the season, we're going to be getting Silas's background as to why people think He's bad. Why he came from Omaha and, and in the very shipped to campus. The ship, yeah, shipped there because in the in the premiere you overheard some girls saying he should be in jail for what he did. Yeah, and he wanted to go out with them because he doesn't want to be that person people think he is. So cannot wait to dive more into science. You know, I'm almost wondering if it's like a scenario where a loved one of his was was bit or dying, right? Mm -hmm. And instead of writing out the disease, he killed them before they could turn. Maybe. Uh, maybe or, it's something like that. Or standing up for somebody else and yeah. beat them pretty bad, and so they shipped him out. I we don't know. see him doing that, but yeah. We don't know. Yeah, I can't wait to get into that. Um, there was the scene between, was it Elton mm -hmm. and um, Hope. Mm -hmm. um, you could just see that... Talking there, about the extinction? Yeah, but but to have that conversation between those oh. two characters, yeah. you can just see that they're slowly building up to what is inevitable, which is the big reveal that, you know, she killed his mother. Yeah, well, we'll do a separate video talking about that, because that I think later in the season they're going to be going over that uh, wouldn't be surprised in the season, and we're going to talk about that. Wouldn't be surprised if it's towards the end. Yeah, I think so. Because, yeah, those two together talking, and just as we're watching it, we're like, yeah, you guys both have a secret to each other. And the thing that we're kind of getting at is like, you know, it, it's going to be a very interesting conversation and how that will change the group when that does come out. So we'll do another video on that. Mm -hmm. But um, the extinction thing was actually interesting. So it's like, do we only have 15 years left of this Walking Dead universe before we're all before they're all gone? The, the story <laughs> that Elton gave about the endlings was very interesting because yeah, you, cool. you can put yourself in that scenario of literally being the last human being and then dying and mm -hmm. then you're extinct. Yeah. Um, just hearing that scenario in this particular world kind of mm. gave me chills. It did. And if you could tell it freaked Hope out. Yeah. <laughs> she was freaking out. But it does make sense. I mean, he's trying to, you know, use history and knowledge and, you know, kind of psychology to kind of, not really psychology, but kind of, you know, figure out what's going on. He's doing the math and trying to mm. think, you know, where we are now, you know, compared to the dinosaurs and all that, which took thousands and thousands of years to die out and everything. But to humans, it's seeming to go a lot quicker than we yeah. think. I mean, so. you know, I, I just, uh, do you think that conversation drove her to make her decision? Oh, to go in alone? Mm -hmm. I think so. Uh, and also I mean, talking it, with it, her sister. It, exactly. It was a mixture of yeah. that and Iris. Like, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Iris wanting to go back, or not necessarily wanting to go back, but realizing I'm not fit for this. Yeah. I, I should not have made this decision. I put us in danger. Iris wanted to be more like Hope. Yeah. You know, she feels Hope is the stronger one of the two, but Hope is like, I'm, I just don't give a shit. You know, I'm not strong. I just the type of person that just doesn't care. And you can kind of see that in Hope. She's kind of the rebel, yeah. the outlaw. And, but Hope is strong. You know, they're both dealing with the tragedy of their mother being killed quite differently because Hope was there and witnessed it. Iris did not. So they're just trying to, you know, 
go through this tragedy together and in wanting to get to their father. That's their main goal. And I, and I love that. And uh, the next you, episode I'm excited for. Do you think Iris knows that she killed the woman? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't think so. I think there's that dynamic it's gonna as come well. Out. Yeah, I think it, because when this learn. all goes down, I see Elton and Hope becoming friends, mm -hmm. really close friends, yeah. up until the point where this big reveal happens, and then here's Iris and on the side that's going to be like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, for you sure. know, and then that, and then you're going to have Hope questioning, you know, did I get hit? Yeah. Um, did I pull the trigger on accident? You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's going to, the dynamic. I think, she's still, I think she's still dealing with yeah. that. Yeah. So, I mean, all in all guys, it was a decent episode. It was slow. Uh, there were some Very things slow. that could have been taken out, but we understand that they're kind of giving more character building. We have to learn more about these characters, their different personalities to know that, okay, if we get in this type of situation, how will each one react due to their personality? Now, the only thing that sucks is Elton is the only one without a weapon. I He's don't get that. Fishing rod. He does have his fishing rod. <laughs> <laughs> Which he loves bringing out, but it's like, dude, you need a weapon, bro. Yeah. Like, Silas has a massive axe, which we'll see soon. And both Iris and Hope have the uh, S-poles. It's like, dude, come on, get a weapon. Yeah. yeah I, I tell you what, what I'm looking forward to the most is, is getting to Omaha. Yeah. Uh, because... You're talking about a big city, and I think Omaha, other than the the scenes that we've seen from The Walking Dead of Atlanta, mm -hmm. uh, very early in the apocalypse, yeah. this will be the first time that we've gone to a large city so far into the apocalypse. Yeah. So this will be the first time that we get to see how a large, large community is dealing and thriving in this aftermath. Now, if you guys don't know Omaha, Nebraska, we do not have like a lot of skyscrapers, okay? Uh, because it's two. a because it's a very and, kind of and windy place. There's only two technically, and they're poor men's yeah uh, skyscrapers. The the, sec <laughs> the second one isn't really a skyscraper anymore. The first actually they built the national the, so the Woodman the building. Woodman is the first one. Yeah, um, that I believe is twenty eight to thirty floors. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, you're probably already saying. That's not a skyscraper. Right. The tall buildings. So uh, the first national building is what? 50? 40? 50? Something like that. Yeah. Probably so, way off. Tall up. building. But do you, <laughs> but do you think that, because um, I know that if they do Omaha, if we see it, they're going to put more big buildings in there to make it look Yeah, like, they're going to make this think, thing look like a larger city. But do you think they'll have a, at least somewhat of a model of it, at least to maybe the first national building? I so hope we so, kind of, man. The do people it, who live in Omaha will know, oh, that's the first national do building. Do it some justice, right? Yeah. Like, don't... <laughs> represent Omaha a little bit. We don't Make have a lot of buildings in old downtown Omaha, but it's okay. We don't, but there's the, there are taller buildings there are now. surrounded. Yeah, there are now, it. yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta do something. But yeah, guys, we did enjoy the video, or the, the episode. We are excited to see how this journey goes. Episode 3 is uh, should be an amazing one for them to get out of the bog and for Nick and, or not Nick, uh, Felix and Huck to catch up with them. So we are super excited. Let us know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. Give the video a quick like if you enjoyed. Hit that bell notification after you subscribe so you're always notified. And stay tuned for more. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nation. We're out.